everyone, welcome to your PT Plus all-in-one course online lessons. Now this is the part two introduction of PTE reading and we will be focusing on how to increase your effectiveness when you're preparing for the reading section of your exam. And we'll start by ensuring that you fully understand the key knowledge about PTE reading. The first important thing to understand is how many marks your reading question types are worth. Now from part one, you would know that there are these five reading question types. And for each of these, this is the number of questions you may face in the exam. So generally, you'll get two to three questions, but for the fill in the blanks, you could get a few more of these. Then these are the number of marks that each of these questions are worth. So with fill in the blanks, each question is worth four to six marks. And that is a lot more than just a single answer that is worth one mark. So altogether, it adds up to this number of marks for each of these question types. And you can see from just the total marks alone that fill in the blanks are worth the most, followed by reorder paragraphs with quite a few marks as well. Now, the second important thing to understand is that these reading question types aren't the only question types that contribute and add to your reading score in the end. Question types from other modules also contribute to your reading score, and they actually contribute to about 50% of it. Now, a big chunk of this comes from your speaking section, specifically the read aloud question type because it requires you to read the passage and then say it out loud. Thus, that also assesses your reading score. Now, another five to 10% comes from your listening section, especially from highlight correct summary and highlight incorrect words, because you'll need to listen and then also read the options before selecting the correct summary or the incorrect words. Finally, another 10% comes from your writing section, specifically from summarized written text, because again, you'll have to read the text before writing the summary. So you can see that all of these indirectly test your reading ability, and thus they contribute to quite a big portion of about 50% to your reading score. So this highlights to us that if we want to be achieving our target score in PTE reading, we not only have to prepare for the reading question types, we also need to do well in some question types in the other modules as well, because they contribute quite significantly to our PTE reading score in the end. And one more thing to keep in mind, your reading question types also contribute to your other module scores as well. Your reading question types, specifically reading and writing fill in the blanks, contribute a small percentage to your writing score as well. So now that we understand the scoring and also the importance of the cross score contributions between reading and other modules, now it comes to how. How can we be most effective when we're preparing for the exam? The first thing that we need to be clear about is that some question types are more important than others. So we already saw the total number of marks that each question type is worth, and also how some of them contribute to your scores in other modules, such as the writing module as well. So this gives us an idea of their level of importance. And the two most important ones are the fill in the blanks because they consist of the most number of marks and this one contributes to two modules as well. Then it's followed by reorder paragraph because it still has quite a few marks. And then the last two are the multiple choice questions. So when it comes to how you should be spending your study time, you know that you need to allocate more time to the question types that are more important and worth more marks. Not only that, it also gives us a good idea of how we should be allocating our time in the reading section of the exam because we mentioned this in the part one introduction, which is that you get one timer for the entire reading section. So it is up to you to manage it and ensure that you complete your reading question types in that time given. 
So as a general guideline, we recommend about one minute per multiple choice true single answer question and one and a half minutes per multiple choice choose multiple answer question because we want to be giving more time to the other question types that are worth more. So for reorder paragraphs, we recommend about two to two and a half minutes per question. So if there are four paragraphs for you to reorder, then you'll be giving around two minutes. And if there are five paragraphs for you to reorder, then you would be using around two and a half minutes. And for the fill in the blanks questions, generally we recommend about 30 seconds for each blank. So for example, in the reading and writing fill in the blanks, you might get about four to six blanks per question. And so that's about two to three minutes per question. So at this point, some students might be worried because this seems like quite a short amount of time to be doing any question, especially reading something and then picking an answer as well. So how do you start your learning? Now, to an extent, the reading section does require a stronger base in English because you either, you know, you either see the word and you know it and you know the meaning or, or you don't. Right? And so that can often be a big challenge for many students. But with that said, there are still many techniques that you can use to help make it easier for you in the different reading question types. And they are all here in the learn section of your all-in-one course under reading. Now, every single question type has its own set of detailed lessons. And very importantly, it will bring you through the strategies and detailed techniques that will help you tackle each and every one of those question types. And of course, remember that other modules contribute to your reading score as well. For example, in speaking, read aloud. So you should also be making sure that you learn from these detailed lessons in here too. Another big part of your preparation is practice. And in the practice section of your course, there are almost a thousand reading questions for you to practice, including real exam questions. And we constantly update this as well. And of course, everything is automatically scored for you, so you always know your performance. Now, if you're hoping for something offline to study as well, then you can actually go to the real exam questions tool here. You can actually download an entire PDF of the real exam questions as well. Now you can always track your scores in the analyze section of your course. Now everything you do in the course is analyzed here and you'll be able to see your skills profile calculated live for you. And of course, it takes into account all the cross module score contributions that we talked about before as well. Now, if you see that you're not achieving your target score for reading, sometimes the problem may not be your reading question types. The problem might lie in other areas and other modules as well that affect your reading scores. So how can you really tell and how do you know what you should really be working on right now to be most effective with your time? And we emphasize this a lot. So if you're not familiar, this is in the home section of your all-in-one course called your next focus areas. And so what happens is that all your performance is analyzed in the course. And based on that, the course will provide you with the top three things that are most efficient for you to work on now in order to get the most uplift in your scores. And so this is actually calculated live. So it'll let you know when you've improved enough and what area you should move into next. So if you're new to the course and you have done the exam before, then definitely upload your score report into the course for it to start analyzing you first. Now, if you haven't done the exam before, then you're already on the right track by watching this video and also all the other videos in the learn section of your course. So today we covered the key information you must know about PTE reading and thus how we can be most effective in our preparation for the exam. So remember to work hard and also to work smart and I'll see you in the next lessons.